Hi, I'm Rob Latham with Springfield Armory, and I'd like to show you how to remove the slide and then remove the cog, your central operating group, out of the grip frame and reinstall it in our new Echelon pistol. So first off, safety first. This one has a chamber flag in it, so pull the slide back, lock it open, make sure the magazine's out, no ammunition, check the chamber. Everything looks good to me. So lock the gun open. At this point, you need to rotate the takedown lever to a straight down position. Then while holding the slide, drop the slide release and take the slide off. Put it aside, you don't need it right now. Now you can see the cog. You can see the actual metal part that's in the grip frame. To remove the cog, you have to now remove the takedown lever. To do that, you rotate it while pulling, and it's kind of a two-step process. You'll feel it release the first position. Then while rotating the takedown lever, getting it pushed up against that little spring-loaded piece and rotate it, you'll feel it push the spring back, and it'll pop out, and you'll have it in your hand, and that will be the complete removal of that. Now, to get the cog out of the grip, you have to pull up on the slide stop, it's ambidextrous, you can see I can push it up on one side. Pulling it up so it clears the notch in the frame and then push the whole unit forward. So up and then pull forward, see how it moved, it moved there, and then touch the trigger just to hold the trigger safety down, okay? So touch the trigger, pull the safety, and then it pops forward. Now you rotate it up. At this point, it's not gonna come out yet. You actually have to push forward and down, depress the trigger safety, and pops out right into your hand, and there's the two parts, and that's all there is to it. Now, the magic of this whole system is this, the central operating group, which is the heart of the Echelon pistol. Now, to reassemble, as you'd imagine, it's exactly the same thing in reverse. Insert the front down through the slot where the, the little ledges are, push it in, you'll see the trigger will go into the track where it goes through the grip frame, then pull the trigger, push the whole unit down, and then pull it rearward. Now it's seated, and the way you can tell is by looking through the hole, and if it's straight through, there'll be a little thing sticking out, that's the spring, but that's where it needs to be. Last part is to install the takedown lever. It, you start with it at a position where it's straight down again, and if you look, you'll see that little spring, and if I push it back and forth, and it defeats it and pops out and comes back in, so you're halfway home now. You gotta get it lined up into the other side, then rotate it around with the lever almost pointed straight up at this point and start it in the other side. Rotate it back and down. Push it down till it's almost a horizontal position. Then you push down and down. This way and that way. Ready to put the slide back on. But remember, the only thing holding it on is that slide stop, so don't drop the slide. So lock it open, rotate the disassembly lever to horizontal. Your gun is assembled. You're ready to go.